I'm Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show at the beautiful, picturesque farm in Ocala that belongs to the Pirellis and the Pirelli Natural Horsemanship Program. I'm here with Pat and Linda. We've done a series, Home with the Pirellis, and um, it's been a lovely insight into uh, two legends' lives. Learning a little bit of background about them is so important so you get to know the people that they really are and how much their hearts and souls are tied into this program and how much they love what they do and seeing what they accomplish, helping people uh, and the horses that they love. I'm going to switch over to Pat. I'm going to let Pat tell us his bucket list, what he has left to accomplish. Mine's pretty simple. Number one, I want 4% of the horse owning population to discover the natural connection they can have with their horses. I, I want 4% of the people to taste this, to try it, because if 4% will try it, 4 will turn into 20 and 20 will turn into 80 and pretty soon what's now n natural will become normal when i first started people said things like this was hippie horsemanship this was like you went into a, a health food store and all the um you know they wore you know long dresses and and flip-flops and didn't shave their arms and didn't wear a brassiere and you know and <laughs> incense and you know all this stuff and this is natural there's Natural has very few synonyms. Um, true, real, natural. This is, they don't even should have to call this natural horsemanship. It's just real horsemanship. And to me, the definition of horsemanship is the perpetual and progressive series of habits and skills that both horses and humans need to become partners. And it's actually atrocious when I go out in the world and I see the primitive and shameful behavior that people have with horses, professionals and amateurs alike. Um, it, it's just shameful. So that's my, that's my bucket list is, is basically to do that. And probably the next thing is there's an old saying that if you give someone a fish, you feed them for a day. If you feed, teach them to fish, you feed them for a lifetime. But if I teach people to teach people to fish, you change the world. So to me, I'm looking for the next Linda. I'm looking for the next Pat Pirelli. I'm looking for the next, you know, Loren Barwick, the next person that's going to really be able to go out there and be um, able to to make more waves and get more and more people because I want this in perpetuity. So that's perpetuity is my thing, and that's the thing that I want the most is is for you know on my last breath I want to be able to go. Yep, this is going to go on. This philosophy, this concept. These theories, the scientific approach to this, there's actually a science here. It's behavioral science. And then for people to get so good with horses that even their horse thinks they're brilliant. So I think I think that's it. And probably then personally, I, I just want to, uh, in the autumn of my life, I want to be able to ride some of the very, you know, the best horses I can and see how, how much I can get them to do with 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 how little and that to me that's the biggest thrill and to me again horsemanship is the cake every discipline that's out there is the icing you could have a chocolate cake and you could put all these other icings on it you could have a vanilla cake put all these icings. but it's you got to have a good cake if you don't have a good cake i don't care how how good the icing is and a lot of people when they're working with their horses or they think i got to behave them they keep trying to put more icing on so i'd like them to get a taste of this good cake and if i can get four percent I, I'm going to feel like that I've, I've done it all. That's incredible. And you, you gave me another flashback of, uh, of upping the bit as a little girl uh, growing up in England. Oh, let's just get a, a, a bit that's a bit stronger. And, uh, and, and that's what we did with naughty ponies. We, you know, they, they didn't do what they were told. You just got another bit, upgrade the bit to a, uh, something that would work. And so uh, growing up, I remember all the challenges not knowing. And, and, the, and the truth is, whether you have a thousand pound animal or a 700 pound animal, whether you're on a pony or a, or a big racehorse, if you don't have a relationship and you don't have the trust and you don't know how your horse is thinking or what it's thinking, you might think temporarily you've got that thousand pounds under control between your legs, but you really, 
you don't and you never know what might happen. So I think really safety, uh, relationship, trust, all those things are key to having a successful relationship with your horse and having your horse do what it's supposed to do because it wants to and because it respects you and trusts you. And that's the difference with the Pirelli program and any other uh, method you might be thinking you're being successful with maybe you're winning the ribbons but you dare not take that horse out on a trail ride because you're absolutely terrified outside the ring and I've seen that with so many people who show who couldn't ride around this field so if you need some help Pirelli.com is where you should go there's lots of online help webinars uh, tons and tons of help their website's one of the best websites I've ever seen in my life for information easy to to navigate and get everything that you need uh, the Pirelli program will solve it all uh, Linda one last thing for our listeners oh my goodness um, well you know I, I'm obsessed with having a happy horse and I get a lot of people you know in our classes and courses and programs who say you know I want my horse to be happy and even, you know, in the sports, the happy athlete became a very important thing over the last years. But most people don't know. I know I didn't know how to even know if my horse was happy. Are his ears forward or back? That isn't what necessarily means, a, sorry, a, a horse is happy. And so there's three things that I learned, obviously, from Pat about what a horse needs to be happy. He needs to feel safe, needs to be able to find comfort, and he needs to play. So now you're on this journey of going, does my horse really feel safe with me in his environment, in a horse trailer, in the horse show, whatever? What do I need to do to help him feel safe and not tense and nervous? Number two, can my horse find comfort or am I always like gigging on him and holding him back and not giving him any peace, you know, where he can just get in harmony with us? And then the third one about horses being able to play, you know, it's not about skipping through the daisies and daffodils and you know, running around with your horse. It's like, can you make it a game where you mentally engage the horse in a common goal and you play that game together? And so that's the kind of thing that changed my life that really lit me up about horses and uh, is something that thousands of people all over the world keep discovering. Seem, seems to make sense. It's what people like. One last thing, Pat. Keep it natural. Pirelli, real horsemanship. You heard it. Uh, it's real. This is the real thing. They're the real thing. Uh, here in Ocala at the Pirelli's farm, wrapping up the home with the Pirelli's. Linda and Pat uh, happily joined in and shared all of this wealth of knowledge and information about their incredible lives, everything they've accomplished, and more to come. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. Thank you both of you so much for having us. Uh, it's been absolutely wonderful. And uh, one more time, that website is Pirelli.com. You can get a lot more information. I'm Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show at the Pirelli's Farm in Ocala.